We're now going to clean this keelum, but I'm also going to teach you guys how to clean a keelum yourself at home. So using steam to remove and soften paint is actually one of the safest ways to do it but I put a solvent on it first just to allow that bond to break a little bit quicker and for the paint to soften. Usually I wouldn't start a video mid flow but this keelum is just a little bit extra special so I wanted you guys to see just how we're cleaning and restoring it. Now in this video I'm going to teach you how to clean a keelum yourself at home but I'm also going to run through the history of this keelum, where it's from where it lives and show you how we're cleaning it. This is Carl from Cleaning How To with a tutorial on how to clean a keel. We're in sunny Dublin today. And as you can see, it's a beautiful sunny afternoon. It's Saturday at around four o'clock and I've been working on this piecemeal for a couple of weeks for our client, but it's now time to do a full run through of how we're cleaning it. This keelum is actually from Gregan's Castle in Ballyvaughan in County Clare, a 16th stroke 15th century keep that was originally owned by the O'Loughlin family until Oliver Cromwell disabused them of their tenureship of the castle. The castle has recently been bought out. All the new owners know is that this was handmade for the great hall of the castle where you can see it in situ now. They've dismounted the keelum which is actually 12 meters long, sent it up to us in Dublin to do a full clean and resto on it, but also see if we can ID exactly what it is and where it's from, and we have done just that. I've conducted a little bit of research on the Keelum, and the general consensus is that this was handmade by the Gashgai tribe in Iran about 30 years ago. And we know that it was most likely from the Gashgai tribe in Iran for two reasons. The first reason is the coloring and the natural dyes that are used in the Keelum, and the second reason is that some canny Swiss entrepreneur or businessman in the 80s and 90s had keelums like this handmade by the Gashgai tribe in Iran and was selling them into Europe. So we reckon it's one of these. It's really curious, we have camel hair tassels on the keelum, which is quite unusual for a keelum piece. And that's just something that the nomadic Gashgai tribe would put on a rug. Just because. So to clean the keelum we gotta basically vacuum the entire piece. I'm not gonna bore you guys to death by showing you that but essentially we've got a small handheld HEPA filtered vacuum cleaner and we're gonna vacuum the entire keelum front and back. So that's stage one of the clean. Remove 95% of the soiling which is dry and we use a vacuum to do that. These watermarks here are most likely from the whitewashed walls of the Great Hall. So they're probably going to be water soluble. So hopefully these are gonna come out during the clean. And you'll see us using a special hand tool to wash this down now in a moment. But we're going to use some acid in our water to hopefully remove these as we're cleaning it. So I left you guys off when I was cleaning the entire keelum mounted on our racking over here which we usually use to dry rugs but because the keelum is so long we had it mounted over here. So the video footage you saw was of me cleaning down the keelum with our special upholstery cleaning tool and I actually did that about four times, not about four times, I actually did that four times with alkaline, acids, solvents and then we padded down with a stronger acid to remove all of those white watermarks which again I'm guessing are from the limestone in the walls of the castle keep. Now the keelum does not look perfect unfortunately and after 30 or so years on the damp walls of a castle I wouldn't expect it to. There are some rips and tears in the keelum but overall we have a vastly improved and more uniform appearance to it. So as promised the second part of the video is going to teach you guys how to clean a keelum yourselves at home. To do that you're going to need a few items. You already saw me using this guy. Any vacuum will do so long as you're able to vacuum the keelum down. A bucket with about five liters of water in it and about five mils of dish soap. A teaspoon of dish soap in five liters of water giving a 1% strength cleaning agent. Don't go any further than that. If you go further than that you're going to leave residues in the keelum and we don't want to leave residues in our keelums. You're also going to need a wet and dry vacuum cleaner, a small brush like a nail brush and a microfiber towel. 
out. So I kept one bit of the keelum that I didn't actually clean and I'm gonna clean this section by hand. The first thing we're gonna to need to do is thoroughly vacuum at both sides. There's about four and a half foot of keelum here. So let's pretend that I'm vacuuming front and back. I've actually vacuumed the whole thing when it was up on our racks over here on the left. But I'm gonna vac one side down and then show you guys how to do the wet work. Once the keelum is vacuumed down, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bucket of water and my dish soap. No more than a teaspoon in five liters of water. I'm hoping the camera is picking this up, but any areas that are looking particularly stained, like here, that's why I've got my little brush. So I'm gonna put the brush into the water and give those areas a scrub. Be careful with dye bleeds. If you are getting dye bleed, pull the moisture out of it really quickly so it doesn't transfer to the neighboring colors. For that, we get our wet and dry vacuum and just suck the moisture out really quickly. That's to concentrate on heavier stains. For a more general, lighter clean, get your microfiber towel, dunk this into the bucket. So once we've wrung the mid out, simply pat it down like so. You should start to see stains transferring out into the mitt. And about every two foot or so, Flip it over, you can actually see that the dirt is transferring out into the mitt. So you want to do about two square foot at a go. Back into our bucket then when we've used both sides. And repeat the process. Not the most technical of cleaning processes, but that's kind of what you want when you're doing something like this. This can be quite quick if you're not dealing with any problems. The problems we were dealing with was the water mineralization and staining on it, and also some lime transfer, as well as a little bit of moth. Now, I've patted down the area, and I'm gonna put this into the bucket to wring it out. I'm just gonna show you guys, just from that sort of two minutes of wiping down, water is starting to get dirty, which means that it's transferring out from the keelum into the water. So if this gets really dirty, you're gonna to wanna to change it out a couple of times. You could then take a dry towel and just wipe over, or the way I do it is with my wet and dry vacuum cleaner, like so. Generally then, I'll probably pad down with a towel then afterwards too. That's pretty much how you clean a kilom yourself at home.